Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Delaney and for today's video we're going to be unboxing the Beautylish Lucky Bag and these do go on sale around Christmas time and they do sell out pretty quick. I believe they're sold out. I will pop it up right here for you if they're not but this is a mixed bag of makeup, skincare, hair care, goodies that Beautylish puts together and it's for a set price and I will pop my price up on the screen for you. I did splurge a little bit. This was kind of a Christmas gift to myself. So hopefully there were some really good products in this box. I have no idea what's in it. I haven't gotten a Beautylish bag in a very long time. So we will see what products come in here. Hopefully no duplicates of what I already have. But if there are any duplicates, then I will definitely be giving some stuff to family and friends. But I'm really excited to dive into this box. If you want to see what's inside this year's lucky bag from Beautylish, then keep on watching. So I'm going to try to show as much as I can on here with the setup that I have. But it does come with this beautiful paper. And I do love the little details like that. This we got this cute little cartoon dragon on the front. I love it. I love the design of the paper and everything. Lots of little details in here. And then I'm gonna try not to crinkle the paper too much because I know that some people don't like hearing that on the microphone. So let's go ahead and see what the products are. So as you could probably imagine, all of these products are gonna be sold at Beautylish. So if you see anything in particular you'd like, go ahead and go to their website. I will link it down in the comments below. So the first item is a brush. It looks like some kind of eye brush. Oh, it's really soft. Is it natural hair? It could be. I'm gonna see if I can find any more information on this brush and pop it up on the screen for you. I don't have the access to that at the moment because I film with my phone, so sorry. <laughs> but what I can tell you about this brush is it feels super high quality. It has a beautiful shape to it. It feels like a wooden handle and it's super soft. The shape is perfect for the crease. Uh, this is gonna be a great eye brush in my collection. I don't have very many expensive eye brushes or brushes in general just because I usually get the cheaper ones. So I'm excited to see how the application is different with this one. I will definitely have to look up reviews of this brand. I've never actually heard of them, but that is one thing I wanted from this box is to try different brands and kind of branch out a little bit. So hopefully this one is a good one. It feels really beautiful. It feels like it's going to work really well. I will keep you all posted on how I like this one. We have a lot of goodies in here. It's going to be kind of random in what order I go and I'm just going to grab stuff out of the bag. So great first product. I see a hair item in here, which is actually something that I, I might actually wear, which is unusual for lucky bags like this or any kind of bags. Uh, these are some hair scrunchies with bow from Kitsch. So these are Kitsch scrunchies with a bow and it comes in a nice olive green color and a black, which are perfect for me. If you know me, I love green. It's one of my, fa it's my favorite color other than pink. <laughs> green and pink are my go-to. So I have a ton of green items in my closet. And so that will work out very nicely. And then the black one obviously can work with pretty much anything. So I'm really excited about this, honestly. I use scrunchies every day. I have a pile of them on my vanity and the bow is actually a really cute touch. It's something nice and different and I can uh, try out some different hairstyles, maybe some buns with a bow or some high ponies with a bow. I don't know, the possibilities are endless. Kitsch is a really good brand. I've heard of great reviews for these products and I'm really excited to try it. I don't think I've ever had anything from Kitsch, so I will let y'all know the quality. They feel pretty nice and soft and uh, they feel like good quality. They'll, they feel pretty strong for scrunchies. So hopefully they won't break, but I will definitely have to keep y'all updated and maybe post some pictures on my Instagram or maybe a reel of me using these. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that, but good second product. Ooh, okay. I'm kind of disappointed that this is an eyeliner, but this is from Wayne Goss and this is the Essential Eye Coal Pencil. I know that Wayne Goss has beautiful products. I haven't tried any myself, but I've heard great reviews. I never wear eyeliner and I hate that every subscription box or lucky bag or anything <laughs> comes with an eyeliner. I don't know why. I don't know if they're just a super popular item, but I never use eyeliners. Maybe I'll have to try it. I don't know but this one looks super luxe actually. Uh, it looks like a black, which is a safe bet for a lucky bag because most people will use a black liner. Um, hmm, should I swatch it? Oh, 
it's very creamy. Oop, can't wipe it away, so it actually seems like it might stay for a while. I, it is a sharpenable pencil, which is good for um, a makeup artist to have in their kit because you can actually sanitize those kind of pencils, the, sharp, the sharpenable ones. So I like it. I don't love it, to be honest. I wish it wasn't an eyeliner. <laughs> I would have loved to try a different product from Wingoss, but I see why they did it because a lot of people probably use eyeliner, but for me, it's just kind of a... I'm probably not going to use it <laughs> kind of a product. So kind of disappointed on that one. So far, I like two out of three. <laughs> um, the quality of the eyeliner pencil is probably good. I just, again, won't use it. So we have an, uh, another hair product, and this is from R & Co. And this is their Backbend Workable Hold Non-Aerosol Hairspray. I love that idea. A lot of hairsprays have the aerosols in it, and I hate it. It gets all in your just everything it just you breathe it in and it smells gross and you feel like you're just breathing in chemicals and it's not a great thing so the idea of a non aerosol hairspray sounds perfect and I do love the can it is metal and it's nice and cold love that and we'll see how the sprayer goes let me see I won't be able to spray it on camera oh it smells it smells like hairspray but less dramatic it has pictures of gymnasts on it i'm not sure if that's like if it was made for gymnasts or if that's just kind of the theme they're going with with the back bend but it smells like hairspray <laughs> but just not as like crazy chemically in your face so we'll see how that works i'm actually really excited about this i don't have any hairspray currently because I don't know, I just haven't repurchased any in a long time, so I'm actually kind of excited to try this. Hair care products are not something that I usually go for, so this is definitely something that's out of the box, a different brand for me. So yeah, I will definitely let y'all know how I like this. Um, but yeah, this is actually a cool product, very different. All right, so pleasantly surprised with that one. Um, okay, I'm trying not to look ahead at these other products. I'm trying to be as surprised as possible. Oh, this is a good one. Okay, so we have the Eye Enhancing Beauty Secrets Kit. It is the Color Chameleon award-winning Pillow Talk and a new matte shade. So I think these are eye crayons. I didn't even know... I didn't even know they had eye crayons from Charlotte Tilbury, to be honest. I have tried a bunch of Charlotte Tilbury products and never tried these. So definitely not a repeat, which is really great to see. So it comes with two different shades, a pillow talk shade and a matte shade. I think, oh, it's in smoky pillow talk, the matte shade, and then the regular uh, shimmery shade is pillow talk. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch these for you guys. So we'll do the matte shade first. So they look like, oops, so they look like this. They are sharpenable little pencils. Ooh, super, super creamy. That's going to be beautiful on the eyes. I can tell. Uh, when it goes on super emollient like that, depending on the stay power, oh, that felt just so dreamy. All right, so that was the smoky pillow talk. And now we're going to do the shimmery one. Oh my god, that actually packs a lot of shimmer. I've never tried an eye pencil that glided on like that so easily and has that much of an impact. Even the Laura Mercier ones are not that shiny and not that smooth. So, hmm. I think I might have found a new favorite product from Charlotte Tilbury. We'll see how it actually wears on the eyes, but look at that shine. Look at the flip. Wow. Wow. That might be a perfect on-the-go... I don't know why they're not focusing. I'm sorry. I, that might be a perfect on-the-go eye look. Wow. Okay. This is, a, this is a new product for me from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm very excited. And the swatches just don't disappoint. My goodness. Look at that. All right. I'm really, really excited now. <laughs> I'm super excited. All right. Let's go ahead and see the next product in here. I'm gonna, I know there's a big one, so I'm going to save that one for last. Oh, okay. There's another product from Wingoss in here. I'm very happy about that. It is a lip gloss. So let me go ahead and get it out of the little box. Oh, that's gorgeous. Look at this pink shade. Look at the glitter in there. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. That's absolutely stunning. Ooh, what shade is this? This is shade, 
Ooh, chrysanthemum. Love that. Yeah, that's a gorgeous gloss. I hope that the formula is good. Let's see if it has a smell. It has a minty smell. I'm sorry, you can't see it on camera, uh, but I will go ahead and swatch it on camera for you guys so you can see. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh wow, it's almost like it matches the pillow talk. Hmm. That is a super pigmented gloss, super pink and metallic and glittery and just everything good in the world. Look at all that glitter in there. Wow, oh my gosh, I'm mesmerized right now. I'm sorry, I'm just kind of looking in the camera. I'm looking on my hand. I just see all the glitter in there. Ugh. Do I need to try this on my lips right now? That is a beautiful formula. Sorry, you can't see my lips right now. I am not ready to be on camera at the moment. Feels pretty cushiony, I like that. Uh, I definitely can sense that mintiness. It kind of has a cooling effect, just a little bit, not too harsh. Um, it might have a little bit of plumping because of that menthol kind of mintiness to it, but it is a beautiful, beautiful pink shade with that glitter in it. It does not go on as opaque as it does as it's swatched. So that actually makes me really happy because yeah, it kind of worried me. It was really pigmented, but that looks so beautiful. I can tell that this makeup look with all three of these is just gonna be so stunning. <laughs> I can't wait to play around with that. I can't wait. Wow, okay. So, so far so good. The, the eyeliner kind of threw me for a loop, but everything else in this box so far has been really good. At least upon first impression. Obviously I have not tried any of these items out yet, but so far just seeing them and swatching them, I'm really happy. Oh, I see something. Oh, I see a repeat. <laughs> Dang it. Okay. So I was kind of afraid of this. I knew Be Beautylish had Natasha Denona products, so I knew very well because I'm a Natasha Denoni, <laughs> a Natasha Denoni girly. I have most of the products from her. And if I was to get a product in the box and it most likely would be something I already owned and I was correct. But thankfully it's not like a palette or something big. So I may give this to a friend. I'm not sure yet, but this is the Natasha Denona Bronze and Glow and it has the bronzer and highlighting powder in it. I love this product. I actually have used this a ton. Let me go ahead and just get out mine. This is my version and it is a lot more dirty. It doesn't look that bad from the outside, but it's pretty dirty on the inside. As you can see, there's quite a dip out of the bronze shade and the highlighter shade. The highlighter shade is just a little bit dark for me. I can actually work with it. I just have to go really light-handed with it. That's why there's a lot left and the bronzer is mostly used. Um, it is a warm-ish toned bronzer, but it's not something that I can't get away with with my fair skin. So I actually really enjoy this product. It has a lot of versatility to it. You can use it on the eyes, you can use it on the cheeks. I have had a lot of luck with this palette and it served me well. <laughs> um, as with all of the Natasha Denona products pretty much that I've tried, there's some that I like more than others, but this one has been a tried and true perfect travel palette for bronzer and highlight. I have since I got this found ones that were more my speed, but I still really, really enjoy this one. And to get this in the box is really nice and people who get it will really enjoy it if they don't already have it. So I like seeing it in the box. I'm sad I got a duplicate, but I will either keep this as a backup for when I hit pan or I will find a friend who can definitely get more use out of this. Uh, I don't let anything go to waste on my channel. So yeah, we'll see what the fate of this one is, but I really do love this product and it's a great addition to the box. Got a duplicate, the first one of the box, but that's not bad. Hopefully there's no more. I think I only have three more items in the box. So let's, oh, okay. So we have some skincare in here. This is from Holly Frog and it is the Owl, O Owl? Is it Owl? I don't know. Multi-peptide eye cream. Okay, smooth and revitalize uh, for fatigued or puffy under eyes. All right, cool. So it's your standard eye cream. I love the packaging. I've never actually tried this brand before. I've heard good things, I believe from Teresa is dead, if I'm remembering correctly. So, I'm willing to give this a try. You know, if you watch my channel, that I am a super, super, super fan of the Glow Recipe eye cream. 
but I will definitely be giving this one a try and reviewing it for y'all. Ooh, the packaging's actually kind of cute. It has this beautiful burgundy. It feels really luxe, actually. It has this burgundy top with the gold detail. And the, yeah, the packaging is really, really good. I'll have to look up what the price of this item is. I'm not sure. No smell. Love that. It has like a little bit of a cream color to it, which I don't think when I put it on my eyes, you're really gonna notice that anyway, but just wanted to show that off. But yeah, I'm glad it has no smell. Made in the USA, look at that, cool. I might have to look into this brand to see what else they have. But yeah, I will definitely give this a shot and let y'all know how I feel. Eye cream is one of those things that you don't really know immediately. You know how it feels on your eyes, but you don't know if it actually has effects uh, right away. So I will let y'all know eventually, maybe in an empties video, once I've gone all the way through it, how I feel about this product. But I like seeing it in the, in the box and I'm glad to have tried a new brand. Branching out a little bit, guys. Have some new products to review. So that's what I wanted out of this box. So pretty happy. I have two more items left. Ooh, all right, we got a Good Molecules product. I've actually never tried Good Molecules before. I know they sell it at Ulta. Clearly they sell it at Beautylish. Uh, this is the Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Actually, that's a pretty good one for me. I didn't put in any information about my skin, so to get an eye cream and a Hyaluronic Acid Serum is pretty dang good. Uh, my skincare video is coming up soon on my channel, so you'll see all the skincare that I really enjoy, and Hyaluronic Acid Serum and eye cream are some of the top ones for me. So, yeah. Okay, it says cleanse, tone, and then use the serum, and then moisturize, and then use SPF. I do love that it tells you how to layer it on the box, because that's something that I don't really know a lot about, is like the skincare routine and what order you should go in. It does say AM and PM, and it tells you the pH of the product. I like that it gives you all of that information on the box. That's kind of, that's kind of wild. All right, it says for all skin types, and it's for hydration. We love her, we love hydration, especially in the winter. Ooh, okay, it is in a glass bottle and beautiful packaging and a dropper, like your standard kind of a serum. Love that. I am actually really excited to try this. So it delivers deep hydration to plump the appearance of fine lines. I'm very excited to give this a try. I definitely need some hydration uh, all year round, so I'll take it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let me see if there's a scent to it. That's a big thing for me. I don't like when things have bad scents. It has no scent at all. Hallelujah. <laughs> Yay, we love to see that. <laughs> but yeah, so that is the Good Molecule Serum. That's a really great addition for skincare in this box. Wow, I'm really impressed. I'll have to go through and add up the prices of all of the items at the end and compare them to what I spent. That is the one thing that I was, one thing that I was a little worried about with the box is what the actual value of the products would be. It did say it was a value of I think $300, but I just wanted to make sure that all these products did add up to that. So we will be calculating that at the end, but so far, I am really happy, and I have one more item in the box, and I know it's a good one because I can see it now. Uh, and it's a big one. It's a big one. It's a pricey one. So I think we might hit that $300 value mark. This is from Danessa Myricks Beauty. This is the Lightwork Volume 5 palette, and I think this is their newest one. I'll have to check on Sephora, but I'm pretty sure this is the newer one that just came out last year. Um, wow. I'm glad I didn't buy it in the Sephora sale. I was thinking about it, but I didn't buy it. So I think I might have just saved a lot of money. <laughs> because if I had bought it with 20% off, I still don't think it would have been, you know, the price of this box. So we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. But this packaging, can we just... I think I might have gotten a good deal on this now that it came in the box. So I this, this packaging is stunning. It's like this tie-dye, mother of pearl, kind of just, oh goodness. It looks so metallic and beautiful and colorful and bright and just, I love everything about this. So I'm gonna have to do swatches of these. So yeah, I'm gonna need to uh, clean off these swatches, but let's go ahead and open this baby up. I think y'all will appreciate this, so I'm gonna do this on camera. Wow. <laughs> I don't know why that's so satisfying. Oh, it's so stunning. 
This is packaging right here. It is, it is cardboard packaging, but it is the most luxurious cardboard feeling ever. And it does have this metal plate on it. I, this is so pretty. Just, they really did something with this packaging. Even though it's cardboard, it does have a luxe feel to it. It is weighted, it is thick. I mean, it's just beautiful. She really thought of everything with this. Let's open it up. Ooh, okay, so it comes with the little shades like uh, Natasha Denona used to. I usually throw those away, but we'll see if I end up keeping them. So here we go. This is the I Am palette from Nessa Myricks, and wow. It's even more beautiful in person than it is on the, on the, on the pictures. I am so excited to dive in to all of these shades, especially these greens, the blues, the reds, the oranges. If I wanna go for a more neutral look, there's some neutral options. There's just some multi-chrome options. There's some duo chromes in here. I mean, look at the shifts in these shades. Oh my God, that went from red to orange to green. Wow, oh my gosh. Just everywhere I turn this palette, I just see something new and I love that. Oh wow, okay, I'm gonna have to get pictures and close-ups and swatches of these. This does come with a beautiful and lar beautiful large mirror, so I do love that about the palette as well. It is very pricey, if I can remember correctly, so I'm glad it does come with the mirror, but I just thought I would mention that because not every palette comes with one. Um, but this is a palette of multi-chromes and duochromes and just beautiful shimmer shades. So there's some halo shades, some fusion flakes, Silk press shifters, whipped powder shifters, suede shimmers, molten metals, cushion chrome, suede shimmers. Again, uh, it just it comes with a bunch of different formulas. So I'm gonna have to do a deep dive into this palette later, do a full swatch video. So I'm only gonna pick three shades, I think, and swatch those for this video because I definitely want to go more in depth on this palette later. Um, but yeah, I definitely want to show off some shades and just kind of play around a little bit. So I think one of the shades that is really calling to me is this Fierce shade because it has so many shifts to it. I can't get over how it looked in the pan with the flash and just kind of moving it around. It shifted to like three different colors at least. So let's see how it feels. And this is a, a whipped powder shifter, I believe. Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh, that's super pigmented. Wow. I'm barely touching it. Just kind of grazing the top. And wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look how absolutely beautiful that shade is. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm going to actually have to uh, swatch it to get the full effect. But you can definitely see the shift. We have a red to a greeny gold. Oh, wow. You have the dark green and then the light gold, and then the red. There are probably some indie brands that have a shade similar to this. I do not personally have any shade like this in particular, I don't think, but when I do my deep dive, if I do have a Cleona shade that matches this or looks very similar, I will include a swatch of that next to it. But let's go ahead and swatch. Oh my gosh. So I did not actually dig into the pan super hard so i didn't want to get too too much but this it glides on so smooth and still has a lot of pigment on my fingers so i am very impressed with the quality of this right now and it has that oh my gosh that's such a beautiful shift so there's that green into the light gold and then to the red and to the pink and it's just so many different colors all at once and that my friends is the beauty of a multi-chrome I can't wait to see what this looks like on my lid. Quality feels wonderful, so I have no doubt that this is gonna be beautiful. I will let y'all know how it acts on my lid, how it uh, applies. I just, I'm so excited to play. And this, this is the best part about makeup for me is when I, when I find different products that make me want to be more creative and play around with makeup and just kind of play with color and light and, I'm so excited. <laughs> I am so excited. So what other shades are kind of calling out to me? 
Hmm. Um, I have one of these blue shades, I feel. Ooh, maybe this one. This one's a multi-chrome as well. Oh, wow. I was expecting that to be purple from where it looked like in the pan, but that is green. Um, yeah, and it, on camera right now, it looks completely green, but to the side, it looked purple. So, yeah, this is a beautiful shade. That is shade Abundant. And it is this beautiful green shifty shade and it's really hard to capture the full essence of this shift on film but it has that deep blue to the purple and to, to the green and to the light green oh wow okay so basically we have the rainbow now with these two shades so let's go ahead and swatch next to it oh the amount of glitter in here too is just so good <laughs> I love multi-chromes that are sparkly, if you couldn't tell, because I do love glitter. Wow. Oh my gosh. Look at those. Oh my god, look at that. So we have like a teal color now into a green. Here's a bright green. And then you have it flipping to the purple on the outer side. Oh, wow. There's the purple and blue. And then there's the green. Oh, and then this red one goes to bright yellow and gold and green and oh, I just love it. <laughs> I can't get over this. This is a beautiful, wow, This is these are beautiful shades. I think so far I'm loving the green to blue to purple one just because those are the colors that I mostly wear. But both of these are gonna be so fun to play around with. Look at all that glitter too. I mean, come on. That's gonna look so beautiful on the eye. All right, I'm gonna try one more shade swatching now, and then I'll leave the rest for a future video. Um, hmm, maybe I should try a different formula. Maybe one of the flaky ones. Let's see, which was a flake? Uh, fusion flakes. Let's try centered. I know I was said I was gonna go for a blue one, but maybe let's try this. All right, so, so far I definitely feel the flakes when I'm uh, putting my finger in it, but it almost looks like it has a transparent base. So, hmm. It is a multi-chrome, I believe. Well, or it might be a duochrome, because we have like a champagne peach to an orange. I don't know how to describe that. It's really beautiful and actually super neutral. Like this would be a beautiful shade on the lid in just an everyday eye look. So let's go ahead and swatch. Oh my God. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That is a beautiful everyday eye shade that is just so stunning. I can wear that to events. I can wear that to work. I can wear that every single day. Oh, it's so sparkly it does have a little bit of a flip to it you can see that kind of yellowy gold and then the white champagne -y peach oh wow it is so metallic these are really high quality shadows and i do understand that this is a big price point for this palette so you can absolutely find shades potentially in other indie brands uh, you could buy singles from other brands but speaking to the quality of this palette so far if all the other shades swatch like this and if they work beautifully on as beautifully on the eyes as they do in the swatch, I am going to be having so much fun with this palette. I mean, the camera doesn't even want to focus because it's so much glitter and shine. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm in love. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to have to do a separate video, maybe a YouTube short swatching every single shade, but oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> All right, so this was the I Am palette from Danessa Myricks, the Lightwork 5, I believe. Lightworks 5. But just wow. Just wow, 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 wow. This is a huge big ticket item in this box. I'm very happy. I'm very happy I didn't pay full price for this po uh, palette either. So, yeah. <laughs> this is a great supplemental palette for... If someone who wants to have multi-chromes but maybe doesn't want to have like a giant collection of multi-chromes that wants to have them all in one place in a palette uh, from a brand that's not an indie brand, something that's pretty mainstream now that's in Sephora, you can use points on, things like that. Everything about this palette is so dreamy and just gorgeous. I can't wait to play around with it more. 
But yeah. All right, so let me go ahead and round up all the items from the box and I will talk about the total. Right, if my math is correct, then the total of all these products is $346, which I definitely did not pay that. I paid much, much less. These are awesome products. I'm actually kind of blown away. I don't know what ex I was expecting exactly, but only getting one duplicate and that is unfortunate, but it's fine. I have a backup or I can give it to a friend and I know they're gonna love it. And this one, I mean, it's a great one to have, so. I am really happy with this box overall. I thought it was a great mix of hair, skin, makeup, and it comes with a big palette that's a big ticket item that I was going to get anyway, but I actually ended up obviously getting it on a discount through this box. So very happy with that. All these products seem like they're going to be really wonderful. I can't wait to actually try it. I will get reviews out for these items later on after I've tested them out. So definitely be on the lookout for these items in my collection videos, my empties videos, any videos to come. Uh, but yeah, so I would consider this a very lucky bag. <laughs> I think the value is really great for it. I think I paid a little less than half the value of all these products put together. Now granted, you do not you do not get to pick the products in the box, so that's kind of what you're getting. You're getting the luck of the draw. They, you know, you don't get to pick every single category of makeup or skincare or whatever that comes in here. I got really lucky and they have products in here that I think I will get a lot of use out of. So I'm excited. I can't wait to see what other people got in their lucky bags. If you're interested in any close-ups, any further swatches of any of the other items in this box, definitely let me know. Uh, if you're interested in the full swatch video for the Danessa Myricks palette, palette, keep a lookout for that. It'll take me some time to film it because I do have some other videos to be edited first but I cannot wait to dig into that palette and just play with it, put it on my eyes. I'm so excited to see those shades in action. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Beautylish bag. We will be back to my normal content soon. I'm really happy with the items that I got. So please subscribe. It does help me a lot. I am a small creator on YouTube. I hope you're having an amazing day or night wherever you are. And thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys!